Hi, my name is Lynn Bolander. I am a fleet program manager for the G90. I work at G Aviation. Whenever there is a field issue and we need kind of logistics support or just to try to figure out how we're going to manage whatever change that we're going to be doing, that falls on me. UC really helped prepare me for my life as, you know, an engineer. I had the co-op, so that was great with so I could understand how to act in like a professional setting. I worked at three different places, so I got to work, you know, for the government and then for Pratt and then for GE actually as a as a co-op as well. I am originally from Akron, Ohio, and I had always assumed growing up that I was going to be a lawyer. And that was just what I thought I was going to be. Um, I had a teacher in high school who's, who, she was my algebra teacher, and she, she's like, Lynn, you are so good, you should be an engineer. And I'm like, what the heck is an engineer? I have no idea. So I went and I did some research on what is engineering, and I actually went to this explorers meeting, and one of the people there was actually a UC grad. And, you know, he was really talking it up like, you know, UC's great, they have this great co-op program, there's a lot of opportunities, you know, you could do, and I'm like, okay. That sounds something interesting, some place that I should check out. And I came down, you know, for the, the orientation, you know, just to see what it was like, took the tour, and I was like, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. I run a program at, at GE for high school kids. Mm -hmm. And I always, and it's, it's explorers, it's what I did, I kind of, I'm kind of giving back. And I, I help them understand what it means to be an engineer. A lot of girls, when they think about what are they, what are they going to be when they grow up? How, how can I help the world? I always tell them, I don't think you realize what engineers do for this country, for this world. They're not just the ones who build bridges. They also build things like MRI machines to help diagnose cancers or other diseases. They're the ones who figure out water treatment. Is there a better way to do it? Is there a better way to to create energy that isn't coal burning or nuclear or something else that we could do. There are ways to help the world using your technical you know, aspects that you have and being able to use them in a very productive way.